Hi all, welcome to this Foot Showdown SPC guide and also the Party Bag SPC as well. Plenty to get our teeth into. If we could first like as well, we much appreciate it. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, do the legend. All links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Comment down below if you're going to do cock on or if you're not, you can do both obviously. Um, it comes down to like, your discretion on what you got in fodder, who you think will win between Villarreal or um, Sevilla. But uh, for me personally, I would definitely go for uh, Marcos Acuna. It definitely looks a nice looking card. Um, been given a plus 13 pace upgrade, plus one shot, plus two pass, plus two dribbling, plus three defending, and plus three physical. The routes as usual are just rough guys to give you an idea of where to roughly go. You don't have to flat out copy them, it's just try to go with what in theory works. Um, but for me personally, I would say the requirements themselves are a bit overhyped. Like they are two and four upgrades initially for on both cards. Like Cockland's uh, plus eleven pace, plus six shot, plus five pass, plus three dribbling, plus four defending, and plus four physical. And um, he they will go up plus two if either win, and then from there it's a if it's a draw then it's plus one on both so an 87 Akuna could definitely be very very usable and um, I imagine it would just be plus ones across the board and if it was plus same for plus two and then Coquelin would probably just be the same um, across the board and um, for me personally 83 85 on Akuna is a little bit steep but there's definitely room to work with 84 86 on Coquelin definitely overpriced at solely because of all the other options out there. If they made them the same requirements or if it just made them one squad, if I'm honest, if Coquelin was say an 85 or an 86 rated squad it would be worth doing. Same for Akuna. That's kind of what I've got to remember, like even a plus one or a plus two upgrade on the card is going to still make them remotely usable, it's just needing a bit more um, like work because you've still got to fundamentally um, remember that there will be better fullbacks by the time team of the year comes. Yes, it, this is a great idea, albeit like showdown is a neat idea, it's just the squad requirements are just overkill. That is pretty much all it is down to. If they're not so much overkill, then they'd be worth doing because like yes it's um two nice looking cards at face value like looking at them um like Cochlan maybe three three medium high and a plus two upgrade on them like you never know they might just boost the shooting up to like eighty plus club if it's if Villarreal win and same for if Sevilla win they might just boost the shooting just so they're in the eighty plus club it just makes them look even more insane. Even if it was if it was plus three, then I could maybe justify the requirements because an eighty nine Akuna with these requirements would be um, like a steal. It would feel like a steal solely because he would suddenly become one of the best left backs probably in the game. Like everybody would want him because it would come back to like f throwbacks of like um, shapeshifters and like footmas versions in the past um, and other special cards that he's had throughout the years and it would almost kind of be this would be because it's a top five league and I'm being Argentinian it ticks all the boxes but I suppose it comes down to like your discretion and then the party bag SBC as well is an 84 rated squad for with one in four to kind of give up is it worth doing? You damn well wish it's not. Solely because it's... Even though 84 rated for, fodder will probably drop, that would be kind of the main focus. People will do it regardless solely because they're like, oh, I've got to take a chance. The problem is, record breakers is where you've kind of got to kind of hope and pray you get it worst because record breakers, most are 70k uh, for discard, but this looks untradeable, I mean untradeable, it's not really worth it. Once to watch is most of pretty much down. Rule breakers are not many worth, same for uh, team the group stage. And like there's too many cards not worth it for the value. And unless you get a big card, 
ain't gonna be worth it. The record breakers, what you can aim to have for, but each their own, I suppose. Let me know if you're gonna do it and what you got from the packs and all that. Smash like always, and I'll catch you.